Today we're going to be looking at the point and paint, the as seen on TV point and paint, paint a room in just an hour. Comes with this little instruction booklet. Uh, nothing really special in it. It does give a few tips, tips on how to put it together, take it apart. You get the basic tray. This part comes out. It's got a little snap it thing on the end and it goes into each one of these little holes here. You line them up. Then snap into place. It holds a decent amount of paint. Not that you really want a lot of paint with this type of system. Less is usually better. You get two sizes, small and large. They come with the pads already inserted, but I've taken them out uh, playing with it. This side is a harder plastic. There's a sponge and there's the little Harry painting side. This harder side has to fit up under these little plastic knobs to go in. And that is not always easy. I'm practicing with it. I've been starting at the back and getting them up under. These little tabs goes in these inserts and then you press. This end point on mine always seems to stick out. I have not used this yet, but it's in there pretty snug once you get them up under those tabs. It can give you the false impression that it is set in there fairly well and not be up under the tabs. So you really kind of have to mess with it. You also get the bigger one and they have the similar tabs here on the side. And just start them in the back the same and just try to snap them into place. You can kind of tell uh, if they're sticking out if they're not snapped in really well. You can take the smaller handle and put it over the uh, extension insert on this one, like this. And put that up under here, put that on, then you pull that little guide back, then pop it down like that and then you've got a handle for this one. An issue that some of the reviewers had talked about was about the hairs, the little fuzzy stuff, this white stuff. It's everywhere. When you open the box it gets all over your hands, all over your watch. So I tried to find something to show you so I found some black velvet and Let's see if you can can you see those those are everywhere so I would suggest what I'm going to do is wash them out several times see if I can't get rid of them under some running water let them dry test it again on this black velvet I've already been rubbing it on this side also uh, because you don't want these little hairs stuck in the wet paint on your wall they will show up and I mean there are a lot of them. So just beware of this before you start painting. You do want to wash these things out. 
thank you very much. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a note in the comments.